we get in today's video, I ask if you'd like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 2,000 subs. Thank you. The Wild West update in Five Nights Tower Defense has been one of the most brutal power creeps that this game has ever experienced, and although I am personally concerned for this game's future, I do think it's probably fitting that we do another tier list as we are not expecting this location for another two weeks, and yes there will probably be an exclusive next week but it will only be one unit and we've got, you know, at this point we've got nearly 110 units in this game, and I'm going to be listing all of them here for you right now, today. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, here we are, we're on the uh, tier list here, I believe this is every unit in the game, I will check at the end of the recording, so there might be some random additions at the end. We're just gonna go through, um, I'm not doing the like, oh this is the best starter, this is that, this is basically, um, I'm not really, it's not too much on damage, although like damage helps, it's based on how useful you are actually going to be on a team, so starter is obviously gonna be like, weighed heavily, even though they're like, not doing as much damage as other units for the most part. Um, so let's just get rid of all the boring ones. These guys just suck. I'm not too... I worry about the uh, orders when we get a little bit higher. But all these guys are kind of in the trash. You're not using them, although there is a special place um, for Amalgam here. Yeah. Yeah, you, be you best believe it. Amalgam down in the trash can, as, you d as deserved. Uh, Endo 4 is probably around there, Glitch Puff Tier is probably slightly better than these guys, but these guys are bad. Uh, yeah, no, they're still, still pretty bad. Fazcade is probably... Fazcade needs to, you know, it's getting pretty close to dropping to that tier, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, the supports are gonna be in, like... I'm actually gonna make a different tier for supports, because uh, it just... It's a little bit too difficult to kind of rank properly. Uh, and I feel like this will just make it a little bit easier to look at, so we'll just put support there. Oh, that's a bit weird. Why has it done that? Okay, uh, you, you'll be new be here. Support will be there. Right, cool. Alright, so let's continue on. Uh, yeah, you're probably about there. You're, yeah, you guys are just kind of all gonna get promoted to around this area. Uh, yep, this is looking good so far. Uh, Mangle's definitely like. Bottom of A, probably. Uh, you're probably around here. I don't think it matters too much. Plain Boy's better than Mangle. Abyssal's better than Plain Boy. Endo 2 is... Oh, man, it sucks. He's probably C tier at this point. He's just really bad. Scott is definitely an S. A balloon Boy. It's probably in, like, B somewhere. Enforcer is better than all those guys. You suck, you're probably around there. You suck as well, you're probably like there. Sentinels slightly better, I think, probably. I probably like Sentinels slightly better. With a Golden Freddy's probably around there. Tarnished is up here. Um Phantom Chica at base is probably around this level. Uh so <laughs> Yeah, you are awful. You just don't do anything at all. You're probably around there. Uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about like ranking some of these guys incorrectly. You got Pierce, you got high damage. You're probably somewhere down here at this point because you're not in contention for the start best starter unit. Um, right, we got Commander Endo. He's probably around C tier as well. Yeah, a lot of these like old starter units have probably just been demoted pretty much entirely. You're way better than him. Phantom Cupcake is probably probably like there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Tarnished, uh, yeah, no, sorry, uh, Spring Golden Bonnie. Yeah, he's the he's currently the best uh, support unit in the game. Uh, we got War Machine. War Machine's probably yeah, I probably like War Machine better than Forcer actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you can dive you down there actually as well. He's actually, like, I'm not even joking with you, he's actually worse than, like, uncommon units. Okay. Um, next up we've got is the Phantom Puppet. He's still pretty good, he's probably around there. We got Shadow Freddy. Uh, I'm liking what he's doing a lot more than these guys, but he's been demoted slightly because of the... Like, his damage type isn't as special as it used to be. Uh, a lot of units are now doing AoE. Um, Blighted is probably around this area. Probably. Uh, we got the regular Puppeteer. He's probably, like... Pierce. 
I can see him around that area, sure. Same with you. Oh no, he's AoE, isn't he? He's AoE, yeah. Uh, Shadow Bonnie is probably here. There's going to be more tiers than this, don't worry. Uh, Phantom Mangle has fallen off pretty pretty hard. Probably around this area. Uh, then we've got Glitch Puppeteer, who's still going up there. Got Valkyrie, who is probably going up there as well. Why? <laughs> Oh, I forgot to do him. Okay, right. we'll get rid of all these garbage units real quick. Get rid of the supports as well. Yeah, I'm liking him better than you. Uh, you are, like, bad, so you're probably around that range as well. You are also bad. Yeah, it's debatable, I guess. You can probably... Yeah, we'll, we'll put you up there. We'll put you up there. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, you suck, obviously. You suck, obviously. You're okay. You suck. Uh, oh, is it slow, I guess? You suck. Uh, am I blind? I think... Oh, yep, I am blind. He's a starter unit, so he gets higher up than the other res. Um, just because he's a starter and he actually does some form of damage. That's uh, more than you can ask. Circuit Breaker is just so bad. Um... I'm liking him probably around there or something. He's just so bad. Rad Freddy is like... Actually around this tier probably, yeah. Phantom uh, Freddy. Phantom Freddy is probably around this level as well. Probably slightly worse than Withered Bonnie. I don't know their exact stats off by hand, but uh, that's a rough hunch. Algie Fredbear is okay. He's doing like Pierce. He's probably... I'd probably put him around there. Uh, Leviathan is really bad pre-evolution probably around there to be honest he's not very good oh he did get buffed oh so i was thinking about pre-buff he's probably he's probably up here with pre but post buff to be honest yeah that sounds about right nightmare fred bay the fall off well he never really had anything to fall off with but he's just such like an unusual he's probably there <laughs> to be honest nightmare i'm still liking I'm liking Nightmare and all these guys with his full AoE. He has definitely dropped a tier, but he's, de he's definitely up there still. Uh, you're probably there because damage is better than range. Crying Child. Uh, it's hard to rank you. Because we've got Galleon who's just like upgraded you. Freddles is actually like... <laughs> no, that's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. They're better than all these guys, but not by much. Not by much. Oh, this is Endo 4, lol. That's my bad. Uh, right, you're probably there, and you're you're down there, okay. Uh, not many things in B tier, huh? I've just realised that, actually. They're, like, the kind of awkward... They're, like, the teenage puberty ground, where, like... They're doing a little bit more than these guys, but they're not doing as much as these guys. They're, like, the kind of the awkward middle child... Um, Nightmare Bonnie is probably, he's got the highest, uh, yeah, doesn't, he's actually not true anymore, he doesn't have the highest single target DPS. You're just not running him anymore. Um, I can probably see him, he's probably, like, top of A at this point, probably. Nightmare Mangle is just so bad, other than, like, yeah, you're not running Nightmare Mangle. Uh, got regular Spring Trap. Regular Spring Trap is probably... Yeah, he's better than all these guys, for sure. Probably, like, you can argue it. He's probably around around that level, around that level. Uh, you're the same thing twice. Galleon is all up here. We'll sort these guys out in a minute. Uh, we've got <laughs> Rave Demon. I don't like what Rave Demon's doing anymore, to be honest with you. I think he's probably, like, probably, like, there. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, Flame Empress is probably, like, just... is in the tier somewhere. I'll, I'll work out that tier in a minute. That's, like, the really uh, high one. Ray Freddy is actually probably in that tier as well. Purple Guy is definitely in that tier as well. You are definitely in that tier as well. Um, this Mangle is probably in that tier as well. We'll make another tier. Oh. Where'd it go? Okay. 
Uh, right, add a row above, which is going to be Z. And then, yeah, we'll put, so so this is, hang on, so why did you name this one Z? Okay. Tier list breaker is a bit weird. So these are the, so the Z tier units out of here is definitely like galleon glitched. Uh, you, I'm actually kind of promoting the starters up here. And then let's order this a little bit more. Springtrap is definitely the bond of this. Probably Shadow Bonnie's better than oh, better than the base Springtrap for sure. Flame Emperor is worse than Scott. I think Scott probably is like the gatekeeper of this, and I probably like Mangle. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. These guys are... Purple Guy and Tarnished are basically the same unit. They're very interchangeable with each other. I like Purple Guy better. I think this is probably why I'd rank them. I think Purple Guy is still, like, un... I think it's probably unchanged. I think people might go a little bit crazier with the money-making than they should. I, I, Purple Guy is just doing so much more damage and more range. They are kind of, though, on the same tier, because you need starter units. Like, it's not an option. You need these busted guys, otherwise you just don't... You can't play the game, so... Yeah, that's that's that really. Hydra is up here. Yeah, I think Galleon's honestly kind of on this level to be honest. Galleon's better than Scott at this point with the slow. Yeah, I'm liking Galleon. I've I've always liked Galleon. I think I've always liked Galleon better than Scott though. Yeah, I'm probably liking this because Hydra's just objectively better than Glitched. Um, Goliath is really interesting now because he costs 100k, um, and that's pretty difficult to actually tell whether we're gonna stick with him or not. Where do we put Goliath in a world where he costs 100k? How much does it matter? Because in Infinite, it doesn't matter. In in Infinite, it doesn't matter. In FNAF 4 and 3 it doesn't matter, in Wild West it definitely does matter, you're not getting to 100k really. Uh, I think he's, he's definitely been defra- he's definitely not- I don't think he gaps the game anymore, I think he's probably better than all these guys, but he's, he's, he's definitely not the best unit out of all of them. Uh, now this is getting to territory where I need to look at stats, except for Spectral Cheeker, I know Spectral Cheeker, Spectral Cheeker is probably like... She's slightly better than Ray Freddy, so she's about there. Um, we've got Limitless Shadow. He just does so much damage. Um, yeah, Limitless Shadow just does like ludicrous levels of damage. Um, he's probably up here. I think a lot of these evolutions are joining Z tier, and I'll, I'll think about whether I want to move them. Agonize is better than Bounded, Limitless. Um, I don't know, he, Fractured is good damage wise, but he's single target. That definitely demotes him to S. He's still decent. He's better. Uh, he's probably better than these guys at this point, actually. I like that spot. I probably like that spot for him. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I like that. I like that probably at this point. Things change, guys, as we use these units. Um, we'll put, yeah, Spring Trappers. We don't. We've done that. Master Puppeteer is very interesting. I've watched several showcases of this guy, and I understand how he works. And I think people are omega glazing. Um, this guy's not doing the amount of damage people are pretending he's doing. Um, I think they're confusing him doing like 20k DPS on multiple enemies, which like yeah, but we, we're not counting like when Goliath is doing an AoE, when Hydra is doing an AoE, when he's doing splash, when he's doing splash, we're like we're not counting that as a DPS. Um, so Master Puppeteer is like... <sighs> Maybe... I don't know, uh, he does do pierce, but his range is low. He's definitely not better than Mangle, he's probably like there. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably do a little bit of mixing up with these boys and I wouldn't really care too much. Um. Oh yeah, the Valkyrie, oh boy. 
Valkyries is doing the most amount of damage ever. It does get to a point, like it's single target, but it gets to a point where it doesn't matter anymore. It gets to a point where you're just doing so much damage single target, like who gives a shit that you're not doing like splash or AoE, right? It does get to that stage. Um, so I'm kind of very conflicted on where I'm putting this Valkyrie. What is Goliath's stats again? Uh, has someone typed it recently? Yes. Uh, 17,503, so he's doing 5k DPS, and like Valkyrie's doing like way more. Has no one posted Valkyrie in like so long, was this? Okay. Uh, yeah, man, she's just doing so much damage. She's doing like double the DPS, but he's doing full AoE. But she also costs a lot like him, so they have similar issues. I like him more because he does AoE. So Goliath is definitely better than Valk, but it's it's close. Don't don't think it's not close because it definitely is close. A Volsh, uh, whatever his name is, I'm not remembering his entire name. Uh, this Shadow Bonnie is really interesting. Like he's doing full AoE and he's doing a lot of damage with full AoE. Let me have a look at his stats. Uh, whoa. What? Oh my god, I forgot he was that insane. 3000 DPS. Is he like nearly out damage? No, the range is definitely hindering him. He's probably like... He's probably slightly less than these guys, but he's better than Galleon probably. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right to me. Um, right, so we got these guys to rank. I'll just go find their stats. I do have an idea about this, but I, I just want to make sure I'm being fair. Okay, so someone's posted Blind Eye Foxy, and he sucks pretty badly, actually. Uh, single target, only 1k DPS. He's doing slow, but that doesn't matter that much. Um, I guess I don't know the rate of by heart, but he's probably like in this range somewhere, I'd probably put him in A. He's, he's nothing special. Okay, and we've got Gunslinger Endo here basically doing the same thing, just uh, better. And you can place three of him, he's got okay range. He's probably in the S tier. Uh, yeah, he's... Is he better than Springtrap though, really? No, I don't... I don't know. Like, he's, okay, he's probably minusculely better. Minusculely. Very, 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 like, you know, there's, there's not much of a gap between them, that's for sure. Okay, so Mangle is quite interesting. I remember reading this before. 3,000 Pierce, 30 range, free placement. So 9,000 DPS with Pierce with no, um... No traits. Yeah, he's probably just about cranking this level. Like, the Z tier is getting clustered. I'm going to need to make another tier, probably. I think there is probably a separation between some of these units. We'll have to work it out in a minute. Uh, so we've only got these two bonnies left. Let me go check them. Okay, so the slick bonnie, the white glowing one, is doing splash for about 900 DPS. So 2700 DPS for all three of them. Uh, awful range. Oh, he's bad. Okay, he's really bad. Awful range. Yeah, he's probably playing around this area, to be honest. He's like, that range with Splash is just like... That's what they did with Nightmare Mangle. I think Nightmare Mangle might have had higher range than that. That's embarrassing. Oh, crap, my recording software decided it was not going to record. Um, so that's great. Um, this is kind of like the more finalized tier list. This Bonnie is kind of around in Z tier, I think, um, from what I've seen. Um, and I, I've kind of formulated this. Goliath hasn't really changed that much. Um, like, the power hasn't... Like, power has definitely crept towards him. I don't think anything has surpassed um, him yet. I am actually curious about something with uh, Slick Freddy over here, whatever his name is. Um, 
how much damage is he doing compared to glitched puppeteer? Uh, so if I can just find Slick Freddy real quick, is that what his name is? I've, I actually, I'm a bit of a fraud chat, I actually don't remember what his name is, there's so many new units. So he's doing, what, like 2,800-ish DPS and there's three of them, right? So if I just go 2,800 DPS, Uh, no, I don't think it's range is a lot less. Okay, I'm being a being a bit of a clown. I think actually, I think Phoenix probably about there, and you probably get bumped down to Z. Yeah, I just didn't realize they were that close. Glitch Puppeteer is definitely like holding this kind of level. I think over everything else. Um, actually, is he? Is he though? Nah, he is probably. He's probably he is probably doing that because he's got three of them doing splash with a range. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too uncomfortable. There's galleons here, not because of his DPS, which is still impressive. It's just slow. That's why he's so far up here. He's doing full AOE, which I like more than what these guys are doing. Full AOE matters. What's holding him back from probably being in the best kind of level is because he's not got the uh, really high range, he's got pretty low range. Um, I'm gonna check how much damage like Limitless Shadow does, and like the. Yeah, I'm gonna compare these and compare these to like Hydra, and I'm just gonna see. Yeah, it's the damage types. What I'll probably start doing to make this look a little bit less deceptive is I'll probably put these guys ahead. And these guys are probably like in this like they're definitely in the Z tier. Um, I'm probably liking this a little bit more because it shows there's not as much of a gap. Um, these it, this is just like what I'm considering as top five at the minute. I, I just think these are guys are just doing more than what these guys are doing. Hydra is out damaging Limb of the Shadow, I think, when you're considering the burn, and he is also doing AoE, which is better than the Pierce. Um pretty sure he has, also has more range. Um, yeah, I, I'm liking this tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.